And what advice would you have for someone that's sort of struggling with, I want to do something in healthcare, but I'm not sure which way to pursue? Yeah. Yeah, that's a great question. I would ask yourself if going to college or university is something you'd like to do. I think choosing a profession based on what it is makes it really difficult. It's one of the biggest things I feel like I have perspective that I can lend to people having done two diplomas and a degree and now doing a second degree. I am a scholar. I love school. I love the hands-on application and I love the research and sort of the more didactic um, learn and the problem-based learning that McMaster also throws at you, of course. Um, but if you don't, university is just not, it's not a fun place otherwise. Um, so I would say, ask yourself if you want to learn on more of a hands-on approach and have that as a career, because then you should look at what college is sort of offering you versus you want to go a little bit more of that scholarly approach. I would say, look at what university is offering you. Um, rather than uh, the profession itself. They're all going to lend themselves to working with people, improving patient care, improving patient outcomes. But at the end of the day, you always ask yourself, you know, what's the thing in that profession that I don't want to do and can I, can I live with it? Because there's always the great. Mm -hmm. And if you can do the thing that you least like doing with a smile on your face, then you'll be happy. I just wanted to thank you, Anne, for having me um, on your series here. It's been a privilege and an honor, and I appreciate everything that you do for our community and everything that you've done for me, even in my first year so far. Awesome. Thank you. I really appreciate that. <laughs>